Today we are going to head up to Yellowstone to go snowmobiling. Alright, we're in Island Park, so we're only about 30 minutes outside of West Yellowstone. For those that don't know, have a sweet tooth. Well, I parked facing that snowbank and came back, put in reverse, and the rear tires were spinning because we're on ice. So I put it into four wheel drive, and all I hear is clunk, 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 which isn't normal, obviously. So I get out and I look under the truck and the front drive shaft had popped out of the brackets holding the U-joints in and all the bolts were loose. Ah! Home sweet home. We're not sleeping in the car tonight. What are we going to do? It's quaint. But we're only here for two nights, so I'll take it. Good morning from West Yellowstone. It is, it's almost seven. So Lucas and I are gonna get some breakfast, then we're gonna get all geared up and head over to check in for snowmobiling. It's good. Right. How do you put on this butter? It's negative seven degrees. It's cold. I'm wearing my wife's heated hat. <laughs> and this is the fix that we figured out for the truck. Just so we can drive it home. <gasps> drive shaft. And tie strap to the frame. We're going snowmobiling! <laughs> Lucas, we're going snowmobiling! Huh? Like this, and then I'm going to have you step. Can you step down for me? Are they too okay, tight? Okay, Are they too tight? No. Everybody ready to go? Yep. We rented from Backcountry Adventures in West Yellowstone and for two snowmobiles with snowsuits and boots for the three of us, two nights in Kelly's Inn at $129 per night and the optional $25 collision waiver for the sleds, it came to $946. Um, how their machines handle? A lot of people are thinking ATV or jet ski. These are gonna handle like a shopping cart with a bum wheel. Okay, you're gonna kind of dart back and forth. It's just something that you'll have to surrender to, something that you'll have to accept. You can ride your own sled in Yellowstone, but only new best available technology, or new bad, snowmobiles are permitted. The park has set aside four trips per day for groups that want to enter Yellowstone without commercial guides. This program allows one group of up to five snowmobiles through each of the north, south, east, and west entrances per day. Costs include a $6 application fee and a $40 per day recreation fee. Entrance to Yellowstone National Park costs $30 per sled if you don't have a park pass. Yellowstone during winter is absolutely magical. Everything is covered in snow and the only traffic on the roads are snowmobiles and snow coaches. The first stop on our trip was the Madison Warming Hut. Okay, we're now at the Madison Warming Hut. It's a chance to get off, go off the sled, go to the restroom, warm up, get some drinks. Uh, most of the tours stop here. So, you're about an hour into the tour at this point. Look at the size of these tires. It's up to my chest. We then headed off to Old Faithful for lunch and to watch the guys who erupt. Ok, 
Okay, we just made it to Old Faithful. We're gonna stop and grab some food inside the geyser grill. And then Old Faithful is out that way. It's gonna erupt here in about 50 minutes. So we'll grab lunch, go watch it erupt, and then go to the next stop. So we live here. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. We live about a quarter mile down the road. No way. Which is definitely pretty. Yeah. So you wake up, look out your window, you're like, there's a lot of snow out there. How long do you live here? Uh, I've lived here for about four months. Four months. Okay. Just in Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Bisons are my neighborhood. No kidding, that's amazing. I hear I saw furred wolves, bison. It's has been crazy. That's wicked. It's a little hard. Yeah, it's deep. It seemed to me like a lackluster eruption on the day we visited, not like the huge eruptions you sometimes see from it. From Old Faithful, we rode the sleds to the fountain paint pots, which contain all four types of thermal features that are popular to view geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. We walked the half mile boardwalk nature trail to see it all. We then made our way to the Firehole Falls, a 40-foot waterfall amidst 800-foot thick lava flows forming the canyon walls. Then on the ride back out of the park, we stopped at the Madison Warming Hut area again and found this little guy who looked so cute until he tried to eat my camera. The day ended with beautiful clear blue skies at around 4.30 p.m. and we closed out our day with dinner and relaxing after a full day on the sleds. Good job. End of the snowmobiling, we had a great time. We got back earlier than I expected, so let's head back to the hotel for a little bit. Kelly's Inn is located in West Yellowstone and has a very cabiny feel. It's an older hotel, but it does offer free buffet breakfast. One thing I didn't capture on camera was the diesel fuel in my truck gelling overnight and me lying under it with a hair dryer on the fuel filter trying to ungel it so we could start the truck the morning of our departure. The travel adventures never end, but we made it home safely and had a great time.